Hi guys, it's ASBYT and I am here outside Wembley, the home of English football, for the Euro 2020 semi-final between Spain and Italy. Thanks to the wonderful people uh, at Vivo who have sponsored this trip down for me uh, to go to the game number one, which is going to be epic, and also to test out their Vivo X60 Pro Plus smartphone, their latest flagship around right now. I'm going to be testing out its full capabilities and I'm going to be going out in, in and around London today doing some 5G speed tests and I'm going to be speaking to an expert, a person who works for Vivo, to find out the latest information regarding 5G and possibly the future and 6G technology. All of that to come and I'm going to be taking you all the way with me today. But right now, we're going to go off into London, we're going to do some speed tests and then we're going to come back, get inside that stadium and watch Spain versus Italy. Can't wait. Let's go. Now, so much is talked about with regards to 5G, you know, how important it is, what the advantages are, etc. And possibly where 6G takes us from here, but more on that later. First, I've actually come to specific areas in London to do some speed tests on the uh, Vivo X60 Pro Plus here to try and get an idea of just how quick 5G can be. So let's go and do that. I'm here with Tommy, AKA Gadgets Boy. Let's get this go. Let's get this go. Come on. I can see you. Hello up there. Boom. Right, so this is the first 5G speed test location. Come on. What are you rocking? What speeds are you giving? Come on. Push it. It's around that 230. Right, let's go. Carry on. Next location. <laughs> Do I look a bit like, uh, what's her name? Ro with Borat. I was going to say Winslet in Titanic, but if you want to go with Borat, we can do that. <laughs> Nobody wants to see that in a video. Woohoo! <laughs> Outside Buckingham Palace has to be the best speed going, surely. Do it for the royalty. Come on. 208 download and 31, 32, 32 upload. It's okay. It's okay. It's not the best. We continue. Just looking on maps to see where we're going. Right, where should, where? Right, so the next 5G testing location is this way. So that is the quickest we have had so far. 330 download, 71.09 upload. We are getting closer. We may have found the winner, but we'll, we, we'll carry on. Here we go. Yeah, go on, come on. Best so far. 370, 380. Woohoo. 384 download, what's the upload? Absolutely smashed the previous best out of the park. 71, 72, 72, 1, 8 is the one to beat, come on! Just gonna put a tweet out now and ask if any of the <clears throat> viewers got any questions about 5G? So that I can ask the Vivo spokesperson. Yeah, happy with that, happy with that. Yeah, should we tweet that? I'm down in London testing 5G with Vivo. What questions do you want answering? Got a call with an expert soon. That's a bad tweet in it, but I'll put it, I'll do it anyway. See what we get. Boom, done. See you later. So the obvious advantages of 5G technology are faster download speeds, better latency, so for people that are into gaming on the go, for example, but also just communication, connectivity as a whole, trying to be able to speak to somebody from the other side of the world, you can do that much better on 5G than 4G before. Makes, of course, sharing special moments, like going to Wembley, for example, like we're gonna be doing in a minute, being able to share those special moments with friends and family from all around the world is amazing. And on that sentiment, I'm now going to ring uh, Rakesh, he works for Vivo over in Beijing, and I'm gonna see what it's like in terms of 5G and the connection that I get to him over there. Um, should be pretty interesting, so come with me, let's go. We'll ring Rakesh now, and then we will head to the stadium. Tommy, sound good? Sound good? Yeah. Sounds 
Uh, we'll go to Wembley and uh, we will watch Spain versus Italy. And I don't know who I want to win, just somebody who's not going to be England. So let's go. Oh, artistic. I like. You like all your plane shots, don't you? With the Oh, there's a plane that just so happened to fly across just when I pressed the shutter button. Yes. <laughs> Rakesh. Hi, Adam. Are you already on the way to the stadium? Yes, we are. Uh, me and Tommy are just heading there right now to watch Spain versus Italy. Uh, can't wait for that. Super excited to watch it live. Your predictions for the game? I guess this, this game will be very exciting. It's hard to say, right? If I was predicting, I'd say Italy uh, will make it to uh, a final. And hopefully England will be on the other side as well. And we'll have an England... Italy final maybe. We've been doing some speed tests and stuff in and around London today and I'll send you actually a quick clip of the probably the best speeds we've got so far. Wow that's pretty fast. And obviously I wanted to test out the 5G connection by calling you all the way over there uh, in Beijing. Amazing that we can have this communication and this really smooth connection the other side of the world. Obviously the, the kickoff is fairly soon. We're gonna make our way over to the stadium now and watch the game. Yeah. and uh, hopefully lots of goals and we can share them all with you over 5G. And then of course, I will ring you when I get home. Uh, I'll video you and we'll talk in more detail about 5G. That sounds good. Speak to you soon. Bye -bye. Okay, bye. Right, so we are now back at Wembley. We're outside the stadium. I'm going to be taking you guys inside with me so that you can see. Come on! So that you can see exactly what it looks like inside, and we're going to watch the game together as well. But first, a quick touristic selfie, I think. Beautiful. Come on, Italy or Spain. Who do you want, Tommy? Who's going to win? Predictions, come on. Who's going to win? Penalties, Spain. Oh, I'm going to go Italy. I think Italy are going to win. And I think they're going to win in extra time. 2 1 in extra time. 1 1 full time. That's my prediction. Whether that comes true or not, it doesn't matter as long as England win. Come on. <laughs> No! <laughs> Come on! Chill it, Tommy!
What an amazing game that was. Congratulations to Italy. They are in the Euro 2020 final. But if you think the content is finished right there, you are mistaken because right now uh, we're going to be heading for home because it's getting on a bit now after the game. But uh, we're going to be speaking with Rakesh because I've got some more questions and you guys have actually let me know on Twitter some questions as well about 5G and 6G, where we might see the technology going from there. So we're going to sit down with him inside the studio and get to the bottom of all of that. So come with me. Let's teleport there right now. Hi, Adam. How are you? Hi, Rakesh. I'm very well. Uh, thanks for joining me on this call again so shortly after the game. Uh, did you see the game? Very exciting, wasn't it? Yes, the game was very exciting. And the, it was the, from the beginning, it is very un, like a competitive game between two, two teams. Yeah, amazing atmosphere inside Wembley. Thanks again, obviously, for, for, for providing us with the tickets. It was a, a great experience for us. But like I said earlier today, when we were doing some of the 5G testing, I, I wanted to give you a call again, hopefully, uh, after the game. Because I get a lot of questions about 5G and, and Vivo, etc., and their, their involvement. Um, so it'd be nice to sort of sit down with you uh, now and, and just have a bit of more detail in, in, in some of the questions and answers, if that's okay. Yeah, that's fine. I'm ready. So let's talk about 5G. Great. Um, I mean, the the first one for me is, is obviously based around the football. If if I were to watch a Euro 2020 football match, for example, uh, on my smartphone, what would be the main differences between watching it on 4G and on 5G? Yeah, that's right. So 5G is much more powerful than uh, 4G, which can deliver multi-GBPS peak data rate with lower latency. And the end user can watch Eurocop on 5G smartphones with real-time high-quality pictures smoothly without delay. So even small details of the action on football pitch, cheerful fans, spectators, etc. can be delivered on the 5G device. So it can provide the end user with experience of video quality never seen before. And obviously there are a lot of advantages of 5G, of course, um, well documented. But what are some of the potential challenges that the technology faces? Yes. So from perspective of terminal device, First, compared to 4G and 5G is very resource consuming and also the power consuming. And the second problem is uh, more and more components and antennas are uh, in, uh, installed in the uh, uh, 5G devices. So uh, how to control the uh, thickness of the uh, phone and solve this cooling is very challenging. And obviously, Vivo are heavily involved in sort of 5G, but to, to be sort of uh, clear, what are the exact contributions that, that Vivo have made to sort of 5G technology? Right, so Vivo has been actively participating in uh, 3G standardization body since early 2017, and has contributed in all technical aspects of 5G technology, especially two important features uh, important for the uh, device uh, uh, itself. So first one is the power saving technology, 
with extremely high data rates and uh, wide range of supported frequency bands, device power consumption becomes a very big issue. So device power saving technology targets improved uh, to improve the t total power consumption, making the device go into deep sleep when there is no data and quickly wake up when the data arrives. Second one is multi-SIM technology. So one of the problem was that when the device is communicating with using one SIM card, the network either cannot reach the second SIM or there is, if there is an incoming call on second SIM, the call on the first SIM is interrupted. So multi-SIM technology is standardized to address such issue to improve user experience. Okay. And obviously, you know, while we're on Vivo and, and everything 5G, uh, we know that Obviously, phone antennas have to support, you know, networks from 2G right the way through to 5G. Um, how have Vivo managed to actually, you know, do that in a device so slim as the X60 Pro Plus, for example? Right. This is a very good point. So it is very challenging to integrate so many antennas in a small device. So the Vivo team implemented creative way of multiplexing technology for multiple 5G antennas taking the correlation among different frequency bands into account to enable a single antenna to support multiple fre frequency bands. A lateral distributed antenna systems, which are located uh, in the upper part of the smartphone sites to avoid blockage from user's hand and to uh, and reduce the attenuation uh, of the signal by them so that the user experience is always better uh, when you use uh, browse the web page vertically or play games horizontally. Okay, um, and, and this is quite an important one. And again, this is something that a lot of my viewers ask. Um, 5G technology obviously is quite power consuming. It can often raise temperatures of smartphones, for example. Um, how have Vivo attempted to sort of deal with this potential issue? Right, so Vivo adopts a liquid cooling technology that uses superconducting carbon fibers. Uh, an interface material uh, made of superconducting carbon fibers is added between CPU, 5G modem, and vapor chamber. So to enable the vapor chamber to play a better role to lower the junction temperature of the CPU in high load scenarios like by 10 degrees, which is uh, 10 times better than traditional cooling technology. And, uh, and obviously, I get asked a lot of questions about the future of the technology and where 5G goes from here. Uh, I, I do believe, I, I may be wrong, but I do believe that Vivo uh, produced a 6G white paper last year. Um, what are your visions for 6G, Rakesh? Yes, so Vivo is currently the only device uh, company which has participated in the 6G overall research topic, the major project conducted by Ministry of Science and Technology in China. Vivo 6G ranked top five domestically in China and ranked first among these uh, device companies, released two white papers in uh, late 2020, so which breaks down the facets of 6G technologies. In Vivo's 6G prospects, the new infrastructure can freely connect and integrate the physical world with digital worlds. Oh, wow. So uh, for someone who's completely has no idea about 6G, uh, what would you say would be the, the biggest difference you would see in how people would use 6G potentially? Yeah. So, for example, the biggest difference right now, we are using a video call with the 5G, uh, which is quite smooth and this call video quality is very good. But in 6G time, we'll be communicating together uh, in a digital world such that feels like we are sitting together. In 6D, basically, we'll be sitting together, watching football and chatting uh, uh, as, 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 as a, uh, in person. That's amazing. So we would almost be in, in, have the access to two different worlds. You'd have where you are, and then you could be you know, chatting to friends and family the other side of the world, but, but it feel like they're in the same room. Right, exactly. So basically, I can, gi I can give example, uh, this uh, smart uh, uh, glasses, like when you put on a glass, glass so you'll be uh, in, in a digital world. That means like you, are, you will be with me together in, 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 in the same digital world and we're chatting as, as a friend and watching a football. Then when you remove your glass, so you will be in your own by your physical world. You can imagine it will, be, it will happen in the next 10 years time. That was, so, so about 10 years time, so you reckon maybe 2030, that sort of idea? Right, right. So 60 will be uh, around in the market uh, around in 2030. That's amazing, the fact that that might actually be possible. Feel like you were in the same room 
uh, the other side of the world that 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 sense of communication and, and and connection i suppose would be even greater than it is now well very excited for that uh, and in 2030 if we're still friends i'll, uh, yes. I'll give you a call <laughs> and we'll watch the football together thanks yes. again as always uh, rakesh it's always great to chat to you and uh, it, it hopefully has given some of the viewers uh, a bit more of an insight into 5g as a whole and, and obviously vivo's involvement um so thanks for taking the time yes bye thank you lovely to bye speak bye. to you bye. see you later Bye bye. So sadly, my day trip with the Vivo X60 Pro Plus to Wembley for the Euro 2020 semi final is over. I had an absolutely amazing time and I hope you enjoyed the journey with me as well. I've added to my 5G knowledge and I've witnessed firsthand some of the advantages of the latest 5G technology, most noticeably the way it can connect communities all around the world to share amazing experiences. I'm not going to lie, I'm incredibly excited also about 6G and where this technology will take us going forward. Hopefully, you've enjoyed the journey with me today and learn something possibly new thanks again to vivo for sponsoring the video and thanks to all of you for watching if you have enjoyed it a like on the video would be appreciated and subscribe if you are new to the channel and love everything tech i love you and leave you i'll see you in the next one says byt peace out <laughs>